This is one of a series of videos I'm doing where I'm looking at creating animated backgrounds for your projects in After Effects. This time around I'm creating a background using the checkerboard plugin and also the noise plugin. Let's, uh, let's create this background um, in a new project. Um, okay, so let's create a new composition. It'll be this be um, uh, HDTV, um, 10 seconds long, 25 frames per second. We might give it a name. Um, now I want to add a couple of, um, generate a couple of assets uh, in the timeline there. We'll start with a background um, solid that can act as our solid and this kind of blue color here I think will work quite nicely. I don't know, a bright blue, something like that. Click OK, excellent. So that's our background and we'll generate a, another new solid. And the color for this one doesn't matter because we're going to add uh, an effect to that. So this will be our, this will be our checkerboard. And we'll click OK. Um, so we're going to add a plug in here. We'll find that in our effects panel here. And we can search for checker. Checker. Uh, we can see that, that it's under the generate um, group of plugins. And let's have a look at under the effects menu, generate. Um, uh, and so these generate collection of effects, yeah, create kind of lots of moving pixels um, that you can manipulate. Uh, we're going to use the checkerboard in this instance, and you can see um, why it's called checkerboard. It adds um, a grid, it looks like a transparency grid currently. We're going to manipulate that a little bit. Um, so we've got a, a width and height slider and I can increase the size of that checkerboard. Obviously that could be animated. So you, know, you could imagine that that could be an animated background in itself. Um, I'm going to manipulate the checkerboard a little bit um, or take away the checkers actually um, and bring up the width and height sliders so that I can create a height and the anchor I'm going to set up here to zero. Right, so that'll bring that little anchor from the center right to the edge here. And then I'm going to expand the width out to um, 1920, which is the full width of our, um, of our video. So now I've got these kind of um, uh, scan lines and it's kind of like I'm aiming for scan lines on a TV, on an old CRT TV, something kind of like that. Um, now we can animate the checkerboard. Uh, in this case, I'm going to animate it up and down so that we can have those scan lines going in a vertical kind of direction. Um, I want to add uh, some keyframes to my checkerboard effect. So I'm just twirling down the effect there. And what I'm going to do is keyframe the anchor point. So you can see if I scrub through the anchor there, I can animate um, where that starts and finishes. So what I'm going to do is click a keyframe at zero, move right through to the end of the um, competition, compos composition. And I've got, I'm working with 10 seconds here. And over 10 seconds, I'm going to move this um, to minus 540. So 540 is right in the uh, center there. And if I move it to minus 540, that's going to be it's going to move it exactly one kind of revolution, I suppose. So when I um, keyframe that, hopefully that should um, look. A couple of things that I actually need to do to get that background animation looping seamlessly. Um, firstly, I needed to adjust the, the height of my um, my bars there um, to increments of the the actual height of the canvas. So I'm going to make that 20, so that fits into um, you know the kind of ratio of 1080 high. The other thing that I did is I've moved over um, 
that final keyframe one frame so that um, it starts at that exact same position, it ends at the exact same start position there. So now if I uh, preview those last few frames, it'll wrap perfectly back around to the start. So just ensuring that we have uh, increments of the, uh, the height and also that we fix up that final, um, final keyframe. Now I want to change the uh, transparency of that effect just a little bit. Something like that, maybe 50%. Um, and I'm going to add a bit of noise, so a bit of kind of TV grain um, to finish off this effect. So let's add a new, uh, a new solid. And we're going to add the noise filter. So let's find the noise filter. Um, it's under noise and grain, and it's just called simply noise. And so we want to increase the amount of noise um, all the way up. We're going to not use color noise. We're going to just use it, make sure it's grayscale noise. And you can see that that's automatically animating as if it's a, um, a static UTV. And I'm going to change the blending mode here. Uh, bring the blending mode down to something like overlay. It's looking good to blend the, those scan lines um, in with the noise. And we've ended up with a, a background that um, kind of simulates one of those um, CRT televisions that's not tuned into a channel properly. Um, you can see there again with the plugins that I've chosen that there's plenty of room for um, uh, improvisation and um, alterations.